an interruption, uh, uh, well, I, 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 I autonomously decide to, to merge uh, the two panels, so the, this panel and, and the following one. And, and um, in order to do so, I will ask uh, Jota Mombasa, who, who performed earlier on uh, this afternoon, um, two things. Firstly, to kind of comment and, and, and react uh, on the previous panel, especially the contributions from Brazil. So in order also to have a, a, an artist's perspective um, on the issues of uh, aesthetic and politics. And secondly, uh, which is the, 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 the actual theme of the third panel, is to, to think of himself as an artist, but also to think as an artist um, on, on a more theoretical level, uh, how, how, can, how can an artist um, understand or try to guess or foretell uh, how the next rupture will be, how the next, where the next breach will be? So basically, the idea of the third panel, which we will try to uh, develop, uh, I would say informally, uh, like this, is to um, to consider the artist, well, or to to see, to try to understand the artist as a as a, as a, as a sensitive individual. Uh, the artist also as a uh, as a magician, uh, as the artist as someone who is able to uh, read the, the the reality. Uh, and, and imagine a different reality, and, and, and the artist as, as someone who is able to identify uh, the, the, the breaches of the system um, in advance, uh, and by doing that also allowing um, citizens, political citizens, and also activists to then uh, exploit those breaches. So the, the artist are kind of as a real intelligence, no, 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 not the intelligence of cubism, but the artist as someone. Uh, that, that as, as an independent, autonomous mind, but also uh, as a kind of as, as a visionary mind, is able to uh, to, to to read society and, and to read through the multi-layered society and multimedia society. I think to say, but uh, that now it's, I can't say what I had prepared, so I try to answer this, these questions uh, very quickly because I suppose everyone is a little bit tired. And me too. And, but uh, as a reaction to the the, the many image that uh, both Luis Camilo uh, and Barbara showed about the Brazilian context, I want to think about that not only as an artist, but as a artist of color or a black person of Brazil. Because uh, it's evident, it's quite evident that it's not. Uh, it's there's a racial uh, cut in, the, in all this murder and in all this violence. This violence is very well situated in the favelas, in the places where the poor are, and the poor people in Brazil are people of color in, in general. So uh, uh, I. This time, sometimes I can, I just cannot uh, feel very optimistic about the Brazilian situation. I because uh, there's an, a really strong uh, thing in Brazil that it's it's just it's not just the repression against the movement, but the repression against the, any uh, attempt uh, to remember or to or to create a memory of all these movements. I remember that in 2014, when the World Cup uh, happened in my city, Natal, uh, all the all the walls close to the close to the stadium or, or to the places where the World Cup uh, happened, uh, all the walls uh, was like uh, repainted and to cover all the the pichações and all the politic uh, images of that uh, like that were like a testimony of the uh, riots of the years before. So, uh, and I, I'm always uh, looking for, for this kind of uh, er erasing uh, memories as a really strong uh, tool of uh, 
uh, of repression of all these movements and all these or our history of of riots and stuff, and I think that these these phenomenals of uh, erasing memories is it's it's not just uh, oh my god it not <laughs> <laughs> a photo but it's a different thing uh, uh, it it's not uh, start right now uh, as a as a person of color uh, and a person from a colonized country, our memory was in fact erased almost completely. We don't have the right to, to have a memory. I was talking yesterday when uh, Camilo uh, asked about my name and I, I just don't know uh, exactly uh, where, I, where I'm from because I don't know my, my history, I don't know my family. Probably all my ancient, the ancient people uh, that exist before me were uh, like incorporated by the colonial, the colonialists. My my uh, slave, my slave ancient was all incorporated uh, into a, a white uh, second name. So I have no history. I have no visible history. I have no right uh, to have a memory, and as a person of color, I have no right to construct a memory of my present because this repression is, is really strong. So every time I have to think about the future and I have to try to approach the future, I have to face this impossibility of uh, thinking about my past. So it uh, made that uh, I had to create an uh, other approach to the future. And uh, instead of look for the breaches of the future, I, I have to look for the breaches of the history, of this erased history. The breaches, of, uh, breaches is, is the word, yeah? <laughs> I'm not that good in English. Uh, I have to look for the, the breaches, this is, uh, blind, blind, uh, blind spots of my past, of my history. I have to necessarily connect all these blind spots that's uh, things that uh, became not possible because of colonization and because of all this structural violence and stuff. I have to start, I have to uh, uh, go to that place uh, like a starting point to think the future. So I have, uh, I li I'd like to think about this uh, ancient futurism approach. Like to think the future, I have to, before, uh, reconnect with this erased part of my past. I have to find uh, where my history was blocked and I have to uh, try to reconstruct from this blocked point to uh, think the future. But of course, it's not a, a new idea. It's an idea that are present in many Afrofuturist approaches and ancient futurists is, is a term uh, used sometimes by uh, people connected with indigenous movements in Latin America, so I, ha I think uh, that is, a, uh, that is a, to me, an important question, an important uh, question that I have to put every time I have to think about the future, because um, we cannot, ju I remember a video that I saw a few days ago on Facebook, uh, when the Prime Minister of UK go, uh, go to Jamaica, and uh, uh, he had like a meeting with uh, Jamaica and important people. And when he sits in his chair on the parliament or, some, or something like that, the, the people, the representant of Jamaica uh, reads a, a, pro, a process, a juridical process, asking for reparation for the, um, the historical domination of UK uh, against Jamaica. And then there has a small interview uh, that this president uh, gave to the, the journal. And he said, oh, uh, I don't think reparation is a good option right now. But I'm here to try to think in the future, to think about the future. And it's uh, symptomatic of approach that uh, try to ignore or try to erase again this memory this wound that is in our, our bodies and our flesh. Um, so I think uh, sometimes we can have to 
not just uh, uh, assume a position very, I don't know how, how what a word in English to express it, but a, a, a position that just want to focalize the past or a kind of a hetero position. Oh, believe in a hetero fiction that, oh, we could be so much better if we, what, we have, had not been colonized. It's not that idea. The idea um, is, uh, oh my God, I lost myself. I was talking about uh, this operation. And not to assume this, this position. Okay, but yeah, I remember. But uh, what we have to try to do, as I, I think as a, <coughs> a, a artist from Brazil, artist of color from Brazil, is try to broke this fake linearity of the time. Try to act uh, if uh, like the present is not connected, for example, with these other uh, times, the past and the future. But try to broke. If I had the opportunity to talk about uh, what I was planning to do, I was talking about this movie called Branco Sai Preto Fica, which uh, it's a recent movie in Brazil. It's an Afrofuturistic movie in, uh, from Brazil, 2014. And this movie has an interesting, interesting thing because he, uh, this movie connects uh, three different times uh, a situation in the 80s when a club was invaded by police uh, and, and uh, the police officer said Branco Sai Preto Fica, which means uh, uh, the white people go, go and the black people remain here. And the black people was, was injured in, in this night. So the movie connect this, this history in the 80s with a two, uh, 2030 30s history uh, about the, the two characters who survived the situation but get uh, injured, uh, seriously injured, and another another uh, time, a, a futuristic time, very futuristic time in 2070s, when a, a detective uh, is, is sent to this 2013 past to investigate and to find uh, evidences that in in the 80s. Uh, the state was wrong, and to try to make a reparation in the future. So we we see uh, that we always have to uh, be uh, connected with the situation because in Brazil, uh, only 100 uh, I don't know 150 years ago, there uh, are plenty of black people enslaved in Brazil. So it's not a, a, a history for a long time ago. It's a it's a it's a history for 100 years before here, and uh, not a little bit more than, than 100, but the question is that uh, we, we, we cannot just move on as a, okay, let's pretend that it, it just doesn't happen with us. We can, we can just move on, but we also can't uh, stay here or uh, reclaim a, a static position that we will uh, stay here until you make something. No, we are living our lives. We are uh, imagining the future. We are trying to approach the future, but we are always connected with this history, this erased history, this erased memory. And as our uh, memories uh, were is erased, also our possibility to think the future were blocked. So uh, the imagination of the future, who tells the future, who build the future, because the, the future is, is a construction of the present. We are all, uh, okay, Hollywood has a lot of, of, of futuristic movies, and that uh, if you see some uh, blockbuster movies about the future from today, what we can see that the future uh, of these contemporary blockbuster movies is the future that we are living right now with drones, and with all the science fiction stuff that we can see in our cities. So that this present was built uh, by some points of view and not for, not for other. Uh, so uh, I, I have, I, I, I'd like it. I was, a, it, my, my talk was a little bit messy because of this change thing, but it, I think it's okay. I hope you could understand my, my point that uh, we have to make, try to make this approach to the future. 
I, I saw, I read a text a uh, uh, few months ago that had the funny, the funny title was "Black to the Future," and I think that's the point. We, we have, we have to to come black to the to, to the future, and he appropriate the future, but also he appropriate the possibility of build a memory, and I think it's really connected with the with the the, uh, the works and the the, the photos. Well, that Barbara and, and, and Luis Camilo showed uh, us today, because it's all uh, not, uh, uh, it's all a way to try to to make the, this this present, this history, uh, a, a, a thing that we will remember, as as the the the, uh, the thing about the, the Poland woman. Uh, we must remember this history sometimes. We, we cannot forget this history. So it's important, all this documentation and all this work, it's, it's, it can be important uh, to create these memories because we are so tired of produce like, uh, you know, Blade Hunter a movie, that very famous scene about uh, when the applicant is dying and he have uh, like four years of, of duration because he's a, he's a non-human, Machine or something like that, and he's, he he uh, start to tell uh, his memories of the out uh, out of Earth uh, space of the, and he uh, he dies before say the the word uh, before say that all these memories will be lost as tears in the rain, and some uh, I felt really connected with that applicant, so sometimes. Um, I think uh, many of memories of my ancient people was lost as tears in the rain. And as an artist and as a, a, a person who are trying to make things visible and to put questions on the table and to talk about all these questions is also an, uh, an attempt, tentative, not attempt, attempt of uh, do not make my history and this contemporary history history of people like me in Brazil and all over the world not being like tears in the rain. We cannot be forget, we cannot be erased more. Uh, like uh, with the, the Poland, the Poland girl uh, which was born, uh, they cannot burn us all, they cannot erase us all. We'll make, we'll try to make our memory alive and we try to imagine the future from our position, our different position. We will try to make this uh, marginal futurism as a, as a rupture, as a breach in the system. I think that's my point.